I am going to be making cabbage rolls made with turkey. And what I'm going to do is I will insert a picture of the recipe and the preparation instructions. Right now I'm going to be chopping an onion. I just uh, boiled the cabbage and pulled the leaves off so that we can stuff the turkey rice mixture into the cabbage leaves. to take fresh lean turkey breast and we are going to put it into the pot and we do combine that with a half a cup of white rice and we're going to do the quarter cup of the finely chopped onions two eggs go into this We are doing a quarter teaspoon of dried basil and the parsley flakes we are doing two teaspoons of the dried parsley flakes. Two teaspoons dried parsley flakes. Can't say that. Now that we have all that together we are going to go ahead and mix it up. My mother used to use her hands to mix stuff like this, like um, the meatloaf mix and things like that. She would just get in there with her hands and mix it up. I'm not really feeling that today. So, so this is what we got going so far. It seems a little moist. Um, with the eggs, but I'm sure the eggs just kind of bind to everything and pull it all together once it's cooking. So we've got this mixed up pretty good. That's what it looks like right there. So what the directions say to do next is I carefully soft boiled some cabbage and then pull the leaves off of the cabbage. Um, what a pain in the neck without tearing them. So there's 12 of the cabbage leaves that I did. Um, it says carefully remove 12 cabbage leaves from a whole cabbage, wash them, and then put them in a large pot of boiling water till they're just softened. What I do is I take the entire head of cabbage, I put the whole head of cabbage in about this much water, and I put a top on the, on the pot, I let it steam, and when it comes to a rolling boil, I turn it off, let it sit for a little bit, and then I take the whole head of cabbage out and I start pulling the leaves off carefully. Much easier to do than to try and pull off the leaves when the cabbage is not cooked or not soft when it's just raw cabbage it's really hard to get the leaves off if somebody's got a tip to do that when it's raw put it down in the comments because i have no idea how to do it raw and carefully all right so <clears throat> we have the mixture it says to place one quarter cup of the turkey mixture on the cabbage leaf and fold the sides over the leaves so that's what I am going to go ahead and do. My counter is clean, I promise.
I am going to be making the sauce to put over them. So what we are going to be doing is taking one cup of water, one tablespoon of sugar, We are doing one quarter teaspoon of pepper. And we are going to be doing, let me see, three ounces of tomato paste. Now this is a six ounce can of tomato paste. So what I am gonna do is just kind of eyeball it half the can um i think that's probably about right all right <clears throat> and then we have our lemon juice that we're going to be doing if i can open the lemon juice we'll be using this all right for the lemon juice we're going to be doing two tablespoons of lemon juice so two tablespoons lemon juice and now what I'm going to be doing is just mixing up the sauce that we're going to be putting over the cabbage rolls and that's what that looks like it's kind of a thin almost looks like tomato soup. Now what you can do with these is put them in an oven 375, cook them for one to one and a half hours and then you uncover them and cook them for another 30 minutes. Or you can do them low in a slow cooker for about six, six and a half hours. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So what we do is we go ahead and place the cabbage rolls on the bottom of the slow cooker. I'm trying to place them so that they are not going to split apart. And what I'm going to do is just uh, drizzle the mixture over the top of all of these. I just placed them all into the slow cooker and poured the tomato juice on top of them. And now I am going to go ahead and put the top on it. And they are all set for about six to six and a half hours. <clears throat> the reason my husband and I have decided to do this recipe is because we do want to start eating healthier. Um, I don't know that I'm quite ready to go plant-based, but I really want to. I think I'm going to start that journey very soon, but we are making the healthier version of um, I think people call them pigs in a blanket or halupkis, but these are actually made with ground 100% lean turkey instead of ground beef. I always grew up with the ground beef ones, so I'm not sure how I'm going to like the turkey ones. We'll see. Um, but we're doing this just to be healthier. We're trying out new recipes, healthier things, eating smaller portions, normal per portions, trying to stay active as much as possible. I have the issue with the GPN, so it makes it hard to exercise. The more I exercise, the more my heart rate gets up, the more that I have pain in my skull. So yeah, we're just trying to stay healthy, um, make healthy choices, make healthy changes, and hopefully we like this recipe and we can continue to make this because I do love Halupki. 
We'll see if I like halupki with turkey. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'll see you back when they are done. So there is the finished product. And I have not tried it yet. But it looks really, really yummy. We'll see how it goes. So my verdict for dinner is it's good. It's actually very good. It's different having turkey in there instead of beef. It's like a different texture, but it is really good. The sauce is good. Um, I think I would probably put a little less pepper in it because it seems to be a little spicy, but it's, it's really good. It's yummy. Yeah. So this is a finished product right here.